Hello, my name is Mark Sane. I experienced a heart attack and I have had quadruple bypass surgery. Hello, my name is Mark Sane and I live in Florence, Alabama. I've been a resident here for 40 something years. On June 1st of this current year, um, on Thursday the 1st, I had the unfortunate experience of having a heart attack. Um, didn't know at the moment that it was a heart attack, but I knew something wasn't right. I uh, called my family to my side and asked them what should I do, so they insisted that I go to the hospital. Hi, my name is Debbie Sane. I'm the wife of, of Mark Sane. I was shopping with a granddaughter and he sent me a text that he needed me to come home. So I came home and he, he thought he had heartburn and he had, was having tightness in his chest and he couldn't get a re relief. So um, we kept trying to get him some relief and uh, my granddaughter was here, my daughter-in-law were here, my son was here. They all said, Dad, you need to go the, call the doctor. So I did call Dr. Mann and he told me to get him to the emergency room. So we went to the ER, got uh, admitted immediately into the ER, ER department. They took me back into an examining room. The attending physician leaned over me and told me, based upon the EKG, he said, you're having a heart attack. Please lie still, we're gonna fix it. From that moment forward, I basically knew nothing. I woke up about three weeks later and found out I'd had open heart surgery. Hi, my name is Kayla Miller. I am the charge nurse in the CVSU here at North Alabama Medical Center. Mr. Sane was a emergent heart surgery that we had come in on a Friday. Um, so I volunteered to go home and come back in on night shift and take him. I was not nervous. Um, I, I got a report every morning. Bob Mann used to usually called and then Dr. Morris would call me. Uh, Dr. Heaton, Heaton called a couple of times, but he knew the others were, were letting me know. So I had um, Dr. Mann and I talked every day and he would tell me how he was. I, I don't, I never really had a panic moment. In my mind, I knew that I might have to make a decision about his care. But Dr. Mann said, Debbie, he's not that bad. We're gonna, we're gonna get the, you know, we're gonna pray him out of this. And of course we did. But because of Dr. Mann and Dr. Morris, everybody that Mark has mentioned, it was, it was okay. I'm Constantine Athanasoulias. I'm a cardiac surgeon at uh, North Alabama Medical Center. I was called to see a Mr. Sane after my partner, Dr. Lockridge, operated on him on the 6th of June. Apparently he had had a, a, a very a severe blockages in his arteries. Uh, Dr. Uh, William Heaton, a cardiologist, one of our senior cardiologists, saw that he was desperately ill and probably would not have survived coronary bypass in the usual manner. In consultation with Dr. Lockridge, uh, he proceeded to place uh, a pump, which is called an impella pump, uh, via the artery in the groin. And Dr. Lockridge then proceeded to do four vessel coronary bypass. And uh, the device allowed the heart to recover over the ensuing couple of days. But I had Dr. Lockridge from the very start. And that was who, I guess, gave me comfort because he was a kind, gentle soul. Mr. Sane, I got called to see Mr. Sane in the cath lab one, one night. Uh, Dr. William Heaton was cathing him and uh, he was basically in the midst of dying of a heart attack. His heart was not working very well and, and Dr. Heaton had put in some support devices to try and make his heart work better. But the problem was is he had uh, blockage in the coronary arteries, the arteries leading to the muscle of his heart. So he was in the midst of having a, a heart attack that would have been a fatal heart attack. My experience in the, in the Namsey Hospital was spectacular. I had no problems, no issues, no setbacks, nothing related to a hospital issue. I would highly recommend Namsey, especially 
the heart ward, the catheterization department, uh, the nurses and the people in surgery and things like that. I have the highest regard and esteem for them. I have told more people than I can count that that CVICU and the heart unit is top-notch.